So yeah, my name's uh, Bagsy. I've been a professional drifter for over 10 years. I've raced in countries like America and China and Japan, uh, most of Europe, teaching Idris Elba to drift, teaching Richard Hammond to drift on the Grand Tour. And uh, yeah, it's been a hell of a ride. ask you know what you're thinking about when you're drifting I don't actually really know the answer I'm not necessarily thinking about one thing I'm just sort of in a zone I'm just kind of naturally reacting to what I feel the car needs that feeling of being in the zone uh, is just such an addictive feeling that um, it keeps you coming back for more so the car behind me is a Nissan uh, PS13, it's a Japanese import, um, it is rear wheel drive. We've fully converted it over to uh, a drifting spec vehicle. Uh, it's got a uh, LSX 454 7.4 litre V8 engine in it, uh, it's got a Harrop supercharger, it produces around 850 horsepower, it's running a Quaife 69G uh, gearbox with a Winters quick change rear end. Um, it's running ST suspension, wise fab uh, suspension arms, Accelera tires, and yeah, it's our full European spec uh, drift car. It's, uh, it raced this year over in Riga, Latvia, um, and we've raced it for the remainder of the season in the UK and Ireland. I was uh, out down South End as a young 18 year old me would be and uh, I saw some guys doing donuts in a car park so uh, I quickly worked out the cheapest rear wheel drive car that I could find was a Volvo 340 1.7 about 100 horsepower and uh, yeah I welded the diff and started learning how to try and do donuts. It just sort of progressed from there, you know, I just started spending a little bit more money on the car and then I realised that I needed a better car so we moved over to Japanese cars and I had got a Nissan 200SX and uh, yeah, I just fell in love with the sport, I fell in love with driving the car, I loved going to the race circuit at the weekend and, you know, trying different things and, you know, hanging out with my friends that shared the same passion for motorsport as I did. The one moment I had when I was away somewhere when I really thought to myself, wow, this is, this is cool, is when I was standing in, in Tokyo, Japan, and there's a very famous uh, crossways where everyone kind of crosses the street in the same direction. And uh, I was standing in the middle of that looking around and I was just like, you know, where am I? You know, my mum works in a school, my dad drives a bus. You know, I shouldn't have made it to Tokyo, Japan. You know, this is, this is, this is it, this is about as, this is about as good as it's going to get. It's been great. I mean, even since then, we've been, you know, we've been to China and then we went to America the year after. And, you know, it's, it, again, it all happened so naturally and so fast that it doesn't seem unnormal. But at that one moment when I was in Tokyo, Japan, I was, I stood there for a second. I was like, I'm sure this doesn't get any better. This is only gonna go backwards now, surely. So, and that was a cool moment. I think as far as competitively driving, we're done now until 2022. Um, and just sort of looking forward to having a little bit of time off and sort of resetting for the craziness that will start next year.